Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this Tuesday morning? Huh, I didn't think I was gonna make it on here today. It was like every obstacle, every obstacle got in the way. I uh, had planned to start at 10 o'clock, and uh, I think it's 11 here in Texas, but um, I made it, I made it, I'm here. So I got a few supplies together. This is kind of a very impromptu um, live, but I, after going live over this chest of drawers last week, I've had so many questions about, uh, well, first of all, people want me to already have it done, and guys, I don't, I uh, want to know who's watching. Sorry, I'm getting all these little comments. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to getting a lot of activity. Um, anyway, uh, no, guys, I don't have it finished. In fact, I'm just starting right now here with you guys. I came out here this morning and put one coat on uh, right here and right here so that we have a little space to work. We are going to work on checkerboard patterns today. Checkerboard patterns in tight spaces. Good morning, Tina. Um, not on big flat surfaces, but can you really get checkerboard pattern down underneath these carvings? And you can, and I'm going to show you how. I have a couple of things I want to talk about, though, uh, first before we get started. And when I do start, I'm going to have my back to you guys. I'll zoom in a little bit closer, and I'm literally just maybe going to talk a little bit while I do it. But it's more just for you to see me do it so you can, so you can watch the process um, because I won't be able to, to look at the comments on the camera. Uh, what I wanted to talk about first is there was some confusion. Uh, I am Tracy from Tracy's Fancy, which uh, I have a website, tracysfancy.com. You can find me on at Tracy's Fancy on Facebook and here, and uh, also on Instagram, Tracy's Fancy. There's T R A C E Y. Uh, I am a brand ambassador for Heirloom Traditions Paint, which is my favorite paint product. Um, and I promote all of their products. I don't just promote a specific line. And they have so many products that it is becoming a little bit confusing to some people and how to keep up with what is what. So I apologize for the confusion. I guess I confused some people last week, so I want to clarify to you. Um, they do have a new product called All-in-One Paint, which is all the rage right now, and it should be. It's fabulous, it's a fabulous paint. In fact, I, um, I, I just, I'm closing a kitchen job quote that I did on doing an entire kitchen. It's my first kitchen to do with that product, and I'm really excited about that, and I'm sure we'll do some lives from that. But anyway, uh, it's called Heritage Collection. It is made by Heirloom Traditions Paint. So Heirloom Traditions Paint is a large company that has many products underneath it. They carry Heirloom Traditions Paint. They also carry a line of, and that one's in 50 plus colors. They also carry a line of Ventiques paint, which is sort of their party line. Um, it's a line that I love. It's got tons and tons of bright, I don't even know how many uh, colors are in Ventiques, but a lot of bright, bright colors in Ventiques. But that's also under the title of Heirloom Traditions. Then there's the Heritage Collection line, which is the all-in-one paint. So, when you are using Ventiques or Heirloom Traditions, you are using chalk base, chalk type base product paint that needs a little bit of prep work, um, not a lot, but a little bit, definitely less than if you were using a latex paint, um, and it needs a sealer, a wax or a sealer. So, um, hey guys, if y'all are on, I see I've got some people on, will y'all give me some love, let me know, Tina. Tina, thanks for sharing. Um, anyway, you'll need a sealer or a wax, and they have multiple products. Um, I've got my favorites. In fact, on my website, I believe I have a Tracy's Favorites page, and it shows my favorite sealer, my favorite paint colors, my favorite paint brushes, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, you'll need to use those other products when you use chalk type paint, when you use the Heirloom Tradition or the Ventiques, okay? So is that clear? You'll need to prep it a little bit, paint it in your multitude of colors, which they have so many colors, um, and then you'll need to seal that paint with something, some other product. The Heritage Collection that they've come out with is all-in-one paint. It might need a little bit of prep work because it won't block wood tannins, but other than that, you don't really need to do any prep. So you literally can just lay the paint on, however many coats you want, one, two, three, depending on what type of coverage you're looking for, and that's it. You don't seal it and you don't wax it. So I'm gonna show you, they look the same 
in their jars. When you go on the website, they're both in these jars. This is the large size. Um, just need to find the time, <laughs> Lisa. I know, find the time. I didn't think I was gonna be able to even make this short little video. It's so hard. Anyway, um, so this is Heirloom Traditions. Heirloom Traditions, this is Irish Cream. This paint will need a sealer or a glaze or a wax or some other product to, to seal and finish it. Still a fabulous product. Many, many, many colors offered, okay? That's, that's the key here. Heritage Collection, very similar in the way they look. Has a little bit fancier label. Heritage Collection, I'm sorry, I think this is backwards, but you know, you guys can, you guys can figure that out. Anyway, this is Cobblestone. Um, this will not need a sealer or a wax of any sort. The, the shortcoming to that is that this, is a, this paint is only offered in 12 colors. So if you are a color lover, which I'm assuming you are because you're on my site, um, you're gonna still want to go to, to Heirloom Traditions and purchase colors. But if you are looking for super hardy, super sturdy, super easy, maybe just starting out, maybe wanting to do a kitchen, maybe wanting to do something for a baby's nursery, you would maybe wanna go with this, at least as your base. They come in whites, grays, um, off-whites, um, shades of whites and grays mostly, um, and a couple of colors of blue and like a, a pretty soft teal color. So anyway, that's enough about that. I hope you guys, I hope that clarifies that to some of you. Um, and if y'all will share that with your peeps, share this post, that way they get a good, clear description of it, that would be fantastic. Um, okay, so let's get, let, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, also, hmm, don't wanna tell you that. Okay, so the, I already put all over Instagram and Facebook this morning that Reloved, the magazine that I'm gonna be in for the next eight months, uh, launched its, hi Aunt Carleen, hi Heidi. Uh, launched, it was supposed to launch, or it hit, okay, hit the shelves on Thursday. It hits the shelves on Thursday, but it hit the mailbox of subscribers today, Tuesday. Surprise, surprise, I did not know that. I wasn't ready for that. So, so the Heritage Paints can go directly onto kitchen cabinets. Yes, yes, Lisa, you don't need a sealer. Now, they do make a gel stain that, that works really well with that paint. Let me grab it for you. I'm back. Okay, so this is the Heritage Collection Antiquing Gel. It's called Weathered Wood. This um, is a gel stain that works really well over that product so that, if, you know, like the kitchen cabinets that I'm quoting right now or that I'm gonna be doing, um, she wants it to have some depth and definition, not just a flat color. So we are gonna use some gel stain over it to give it, you know, to give it depth. So, uh, good morning, Lachelle. Hi, Nini, good morning. So, anyway, um, where was I? So, Reloved hit the subscribers this morning, and so another UK um, called Upcycled Hour uh, tagged me in a post. That's how I knew that it was already out, because I was like, whoa, this is supposed to be on Thursday. It's today. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I don't think I'm going to Hollywood or anything, guys, but it's just so exciting to, just to have a little recognition like that, it, I don't, I mean, surely you guys get that, those that, you know, you are, <laughs> hello daughter, you work so hard for so long, and you just kind of think, well, anyone notice, and then someone notices, and, and then they share, and they give you love, and it's just amazing, it's a good feeling, so anyway, um, what was I telling you, oh, I, so I just found out that Heirloom Traditions, who I brand for, they offer uh, free shipping worldwide, not just free shipping here in the U.S. for $75 or more, which if you didn't know that, if you go to their website and you order, they offer free shipping for $75 order or more um, with the coupon code oh, HTP World, all caps, I think. HTP World, all caps. So thank you, Antoinette. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kristen. I appreciate that. Um, so anyway, that's really awesome because the magazine, remember I told you it is a UK publication um, and I was a little concerned that, yeah, I wanted to get, you know, not just me, I wanted to get the name of Heirloom Traditions Paint out to that part of the world because, you know, they're, you know, it's a big Annie Sloan world. Shh, can't, can't believe I said that out loud. But yeah, I was excited to get it there and uh, let people see about it, but then like, how are they going to get it because they pay such huge fees and penalties and taxes to get things shipped over. But Heirlooms is now, um, thank you, Lisa. And Gamble, hi, Gamble Bell. 
How are you? Um, I hear my baby, my little baby's coming to see you this evening, I think. So, um, anyway, free shipping to the UK. So, if someone from the UK is on my Facebook and they're watching and you want to try my Wonderland vanity and you like the colors that's on there, you can get it, you can get that product to you now. HTP is offering free shipping. Okay, so let's get started. So, I think um, I explained to you guys that we are going to do, I'm going to do white and black checkerboard back behind the swag, okay? And then I have also decided that I'm going to do also checkerboard on the center of these drawers. Now, I'm not going to do it in black and white because I didn't want to do black and white across the top and the bottom like we talked about last week and then have a black and white check down the middle only. I felt like it would look like a button up or a tuxedo or something and I just, I didn't want to do that, but I still wanted some more checkerboard. So, I'm going to do tone on tone checkerboard on these drawers. I don't know the order yet, but I'm definitely doing pink. I'm committed to pink because it's already here. So I'm doing pink here with another pink. I'm probably going to do like coral and then yellows and then teals. There's five drawers. So I'm going to do the white and black with y'all and the pink. So what colors am I using? I'm using Marilyn's lipstick. This is my favorite hot pink. Uh, it's by Heirloom Traditions. Also, this bottle. People ask about these bottles. What is this bottle? Who knows what this bottle is? Anyone know? This is called a FIFO bottle. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's what I'm dying to see and learn how to do. Oh, please see your cracking me up. Okay, so FIFO. F-I-F-O. All capitals. It's an acronym for something. I can't remember what it means. Like forward in, forward out, or something in, front in, forward out. I don't know. FIFO. I think you can get these from, uh, what's that supply store? Hardware supply store. You can order them. Shoot, I forgot. It'll come to me later. But I think you can also order them on Heirloom Traditions. They're fabulous. Why are they fabulous? They are fabulous because chalk type paint does not have any preservatives in it. So it will grow bacteria. First, thank you, Gail. First in, first out. Had no idea. Amazon, you can get them on Amazon. They're wonderful. Um, if you open your paint can and you dip your brush in and out of it instead of pouring it into something else, when you're painting on something with your brush and you go back into your can, you're transferring bacteria back and forth. So if you have a color, a big can, and you don't use that color very often, and months down the road you open it, you might have, um, you might have some mold growing in there. It doesn't ruin your paint, but it smells really funky and you have to pick the chunks out. So these bottles, you unscrew this in, you fill it up, it's airtight, it stays airtight, it's got like a plastic rubber valve on it here, you just hold it and you squirt it out. No bacteria grows, your paint stays, it's amazing. Okay, we gotta get to the checkerboard people. The baby's gonna wake up and I'm sure you'll have stuff to do. Okay, so what I did here is I watered down in this tray. Here's Marilyn's lipstick in the hole, in, uh, pure. And then I put some white Irish cream and I mixed it over here and I made a lighter Marilyn's lipstick. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Anyway, I put a lighter uh, pink here because I'm gonna do a checkerboard pattern out of these two pinks, okay? Tone on tone. You can do crazy things with tone on tone and get away with it because it's not such a sharp contrast, okay? So, I've already done my tone on tone. I'm gonna use straight Marilyn. So let's get going. How am I gonna do a checkerboard here? I don't have a ruler, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna take y'all off of my face. We're gonna get a little bit closer. I'm gonna move you down to the shorter tripod I've got right here. Can y'all see that good? Okay, let me scoot in. So, you can't really get a ruler inside here and you need a straight edge, right? So let's just compromise, and this isn't fancy, people. This is just the way I do it. Paper, paper's fabulous. It's, it's bendy, it gets in small places. So, I don't need this much. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper. It's not cardstock, it's regular scrapbook paper. It's scrapbook paper from those stinking flowers that I did. Oh, they were awful. I'll never do them again. Ever, 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 I promise. I'll never do them again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the bigger piece. Okay, so how big do I want my square to be? I don't want it to be real super big. Um, along the top, I'm gonna have a one inch stripe. I'm thinking maybe not quite, maybe half inch. So I'm just gonna kind of pick my square. This is how I do it, y'all. I just wing it. So I'm gonna do maybe a square about that big. How big is that? And I just eyeball it, guys. I just eyeball it. 
when you've got a lot going on, it just doesn't have to be perfect. No one's going to measure. No one really knows. And it's just paint. If you mess up, you just do it again. You just start over. So it's a little tricky around that flower. It's making my paper want to bend a lot, but that's okay. So I'm going to draw my line from that direction. And then look, I'm not even using it. Look. Look at there. Can y'all see that? You can see that, right? Okay. So then I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep sticking my paper in there <laughs> and kind of winging it. If you want to measure, okay, let's say, let's do this. Let's do it this way because I'm sure I'm going to have some people say. All right, that's, I marked my little piece of paper here. You see that? I measured how big, I don't even know if y'all can see that. I measured how big it was and I made like a little, a little jig there, a little mark. So then I take that same mark and I'm going to go down the side here and I'm going to mark exactly how far apart these lines need to be. Just like this. Okay. Just moving down. Anyone have any questions? No, no questions. Go ahead and ask questions if you want. I'll turn around every once in a while and look at the, look at it. But for now, if y'all just want to watch me do this. Yay, I've got people on. We've got lots of people on. That's awesome. Okay, yes, is this a lot of trouble? It's a heck of a lot of trouble. Does it look fabulous when it's done? It does. Do other people take the time to do this? No, they don't. So that's what sets you apart when people, you can tell when someone's gone the extra mile. Okay, so I've done that. Now let's do it from this other side too. We've already got this little mark here. That way we kind of know that where we're headed. Just gonna keep moving straight down like this. I think I think my daughter-in-law's sister just got on here. Is she on here? Let's see. Jessica, are you on here? Hello, Jessica. I thought I saw you climb on. How much time do you take on each piece? Wow. That's a really good question, Antoinette. And because I never ever, 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 ever get to work on just one piece without having a million other commitments and, um, hi Jessica, um, places to go and things to do, people to see. I seriously could not tell you. And I've never kept like a log about it. Okay. I'm not sure that that's going to be super straight for some reason, but you know what? Like I said, this, this was, uh, I came unprepared. I just got my supplies and I'm, I literally, this is how I work. So I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to act like I've got some great system. You just have to, don't be afraid, and just get in there and do it. I mean, honestly, I'm thinking maybe if y'all weren't on here, I would just be freehanding this. <laughs> like drawing the lines without the paper. But I'm trying to be, trying to set a good example. Um, let's see. Uh, Antoinette, back to your question. I, it's, Hard to say how much time I spend, but um, yeah, that wasn't straight, so that didn't really match up there. It's hard to say how much time I spend, but I am pretty fast. I know, I know and I know that about myself. I know that I'm a fast, pretty fast worker, um, mostly because I'm impatient. So I know that y'all are thinking this is looking absolutely sloppy and crazy, but I promise when I go back in and fix up all these little lines and make things straighter, you know, you you, uh, you just can't be perfect when you're working in this tight space. It's totally different than if I were on the top surface or on uh, or on a side the side of it. Totally different. Speaking of, on the side, I am going to do the Harlequin, and we'll do a live with the Harlequin. That's a little more systematic. This is not so systematic here. I'm seriously going to jump to what I said. I'm going to wing it. You know what? This big fat flowers in the middle. Who's going to tell? We'll go from down here. We've already done that. Let's say that one needs to be about right there. That one about right there. <laughs> and about right there. Okay, so I've got all my horizontal lines drawn. That's done. So I'm going to do a few vertical. I, won't, I don't, won't do them all. So you want your, your square to be even. So where's my little hash mark? So the square was that big, so we really should also make the square the same, right? because then it wouldn't be a square, because then you'd get a, get a rectangle. So we're gonna do like this 
all the way across. So at least we know that our squares will be squares. Wasn't that a, who's saying hip to be square? Like George Michael or someone like that. How's it going? Carla Pine. Hi, Carla. Hi. Okay, don't let me lose y'all. We'll start painting in just a second, but I, you know, I couldn't just jump on here and paint. I needed y'all to see me, I needed y'all to see me draw this out too, right? Because this is the painstaking part. To me, the painting, once I start painting, I'm so much happier. So, maybe mark that. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna measure out the bottom one also, we're gonna go, so let's just do this one line. We're gonna go about right here. So we'll do this one line and then I'll paint, I'll paint on this side. Am I, am I blocking y'all's view? Robert Plant, thank you so much. <laughs> it was Robert Plant, I think that was Heidi. Heidi, did you just know that? You're so, you're so uh, informed. Or did you Google that? Because I think I would have had to Google that. Okay, so pretty good here, right? We got a straight line going. That is how tiny these squares are gonna be. I'm gonna move you in. Okay, why is that like not straight on? Okay, see that? So we're gonna paint a few squares right there. All right, let's get my paint. Let's talk paintbrushes, paintbrushes, paint. And just in case, just in case you weren't on last week, these are gonna be the colors on this crazy chest. You like? Yeah. So, right now we're doing the black and white check. Okay. So here's my little paint palette that I had out. Watch, watch, it comes out with a lot of power. Ready? Watch it squirt. <laughs> there we go, and it just squirts out exactly what you need. Well, it doesn't ever give you just a tiny, tiny bit. They're, they get a little excited, and they squirt kind of a lot. Okay, I didn't mean anything by that, I promise. Brushes, which brush am I going to use? Right now, hmm, I'm probably going to use this one. I like an angled brush. Wait, tone on tone. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you. You're so right. So, okay, great. So, I already have Marilyn. What? You know, seriously. I already have pink paint here, Marilyn's lipstick. So, I'm going to use that. Exactly. I almost put black on there. Oh, I owe Cheryl. Cheryl, you should win something. Cheryl's the winner. You should win something. Uh, I had a tiny, tiny brush that I could use if I wanted to. There we go. Um, but I love an angle brush. It lets me make a really nice corner, and I really like that. So I think I'm going to use an angle brush. If it's too big, we may move down to, see, here's a, here's a squared off brush, and here's a tinier, tiny one. So I may move to this one. But I'm going to try an angle brush. So let's try that. Tone on tone, tone on tone. We're going Marilyn's lipstick, so we're going pink. So I'm just going to start with this top one here. Can you all see? I'll make sure I'm not in the way. And it's gonna be subtle. It's not gonna be super, uh, super strong. It's gonna be subtle. And it's only going to be the inset. The flower is not going to be pink. The flower will be another color. And this frame will also be another color. I just threw pink all over it this morning because so I was in a hurry. So it will be something else, but it will have deep set in there, pink on pink, which I think is gonna look pretty fabulous. So move down to the next square. I, you always want to cover over your uh, pencil. Now, pencils sometimes will show through. You know what? Don't just don't freak out about it. It's okay. When you've got so much going on, no one's really gonna notice. You can use a chalk pencil. I do use a chalk pencil sometimes because it's white. Uh, sometimes that works. But today I used a pencil. Okay, so see, they're not perfect, guys. They are not perfect, but uh, takes a lot of patience. So this is when you turn on really good music. Um, 
and listen to music. Now, did y'all know that I cannot have music on on, on these Facebook Lives? Did y'all know that? That it's like, uh, what's that called? Copyright infringements or something like that? Because, I mean, it would have to be my own music. You know, I can't have, I couldn't have like Robert Plant playing on here right now. Or Facebook will turn, will shut your video down. So they really want us to talk, I guess. Or I guess I could take my chances. So do y'all remember that wall that I had last week that I showed y'all? Did y'all, did anyone see my trees? Or watercolor pencils that closely match paint color? Good idea, I've never done that, Melody, but I have seen people uh, mention that before and I've not done that. Um, yeah, copyright thing. <laughs> no, Carolyn, I'm not singing. Although I did sing Itsy Bitsy Spider, Patty Cake, Little Bunny Foo Foo, and I think that's it. I sang those a lot already this morning, so I've done my I've done my job. Stacy, I see Stacy joined. Good morning, Stacy. Um. Okay, so I've thought about something else while I was standing here. Oh yeah, so the wall, my wood wall. Did anyone see that where I painted the trees on the wood wall? Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. But I didn't get good photos. Uh, because it was in my garage floor and it was dark at night and right now it's already taken completely apart But I'm totally going to trust that this client's going to take great photos. She has a beautiful home um, I've seen photos from other rooms in her home and they her photography skills are pretty good Either that or she's had someone come in and take photos So I have no doubt I'm gonna get good photos once that goes up and I'll share it with all of you But I believe I shared like a little video snippet on Tracy's fancy and on Instagram uh, if you want to go check it out, um, I did a camo colored wood plank wall with painted trees on it. So, pretty cool. Um, yeah, Cheryl, did you see it? Did you see it? It was, it, it was so much, so exciting to do something that you're pretty sure hasn't been done yet. I don't, I haven't seen that. I don't think anyone's done it. So, I, uh, it's just really exciting. I, I loved doing that that day. I had a lot of, I could hardly sleep that night. I just get so excited. You did see it, Cheryl. Thank you. Okay, so let me take you close. Do I need to take the camera closer? It's hard to tell. Do I? Okay, let's go close. Okay, so we've got our first row of checks. So obviously the next row I will be here and here, here, and here. So this entire background will be hot pink, light pink, just like you see that right there, okay? Is that good? Is that enough to show you on that? And then we're gonna move up to the black and white. Is that good? Y'all ask me any questions. I'm doing pretty, I think I'm doing pretty good watching the comments come in. Oh, I didn't get a rag over here. Okay, so let's move up to the, let's drop my pencil, hold on. I'm getting a little sweaty. A little sweaty. <sighs> Let's see. For that pink, do you just use one coat? Probably so. You know what? This pink is one coat, and this white is one coat. And I'm going to show you the white. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Um, Candy asked me if I was just going to use one coat. Okay. Can you can see the white? If the camera will focus on that, you can see that it's kind of see-through. It's not real super. Um, opaque it's right uh, it's a little translucent you can kind of see through it um, but I'm okay with that because once you fill it all up with black squares the white and the black that it's so little you know you can't hardly see so I'm gonna do one yes one coat on that pink I think we'll do it I mean I may have see some squares that I have to cut hot flashes <laughs> yeah that let's not talk about that that's a live in itself and that the truth uh, no, it's just a little warm out here, and I don't know why I don't have my hair up. If I had a ponytail holder, I'd put it up right now. Um, okay, so up here, same thing, about the same size. So I'm going to start my first line. Can y'all see me? Yes. So I don't want, I'm going to trace this across the middle, but then I'm going to have to lift my paper because it's wanting to swag upward because of those swags there. So I'm literally gonna do this by hand, you guys. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna let my eye follow the line up here. And I'm just gonna follow that line. I mean, I don't have to do too much of that. 
the center line will get you started. Just go over like that, okay? About the same thing, where's my little hash mark that I used because I want these squares to be the same size. So I'll just put that right there. I'll make a little hash mark and I'm gonna do another line. See, you just have to go for it. Does not have to be perfect. And that piece that's gonna be, that's in that magazine right now, uh, my Wonderland vanity, uh, you know, that piece is not perfect. It is not, of course, it's kind of crazy whimsical. Okay, so now let's do the up and down stripe. So remember, I made a little, I made a little mark here on this that shows how big my square is supposed to be. I measured it that way. So now I'm gonna measure it this way. So let's see, I'm gonna kind of pick the middle here. I'm gonna make a little tally mark there. And then I'm just gonna keep going down to the right and then I can go back the other way to the left, it's kind of awkward. Okay, so we got all my marks. I am literally just gonna draw my squares up here. Okay. So, as you can see, this is gonna take a lot of time. I'm okay with that. I charge for that and I get paid for that and you can too. When you work this hard and you go to this much trouble to put detail in your work, you have to charge for your work. This piece, as you all know, um, is for my VA, my virtual assistant in Florida. She's very special to me and we, we bartered. We traded off work. I pay her in four hour segments on a regular basis to work for me. And we bartered her, her labor for mine. So I got my money's worth out of this piece. And, but if I were selling it, I definitely would get my money's worth out of it. So once, if you are doing this to sell pieces, um, don't undersell yourself or you won't enjoy doing this much work. Okay. If you know you're getting paid a good amount for it and someone's willing to pay you and appreciate your time and your work and they respect that, then you enjoy yourself while you're doing it. Just a little side note. Okay, um, so I'm going to, I could use the paper guys, but this is just so much easier. I'm just taking it straight down and it's, it's okay that your pencil lines aren't perfect because you know what, I know for a fact your paint lines aren't gonna be perfect. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, and honestly, the check is just gonna be a backdrop anyway. It's not gonna be the main focus. What's the main focus gonna be right here? This gorgeous swag. In the end, the swag's the focus. This black and white is just a backdrop. I call checkerboard a neutral. In my world, checkerboard is a neutral. Came, come to Kentucky. Calvin Kennett's has all kinds of old furniture paper for well, I don't know what Calvin Kennett says, but I am so jealous. You have a place, Brianna, that you just can go where they're just loaded with all kinds of cool furniture. I am so jealous. Down here in the South, I swear, these women are like, whoa, vultures. You can't, it's so hard to find stuff. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get started. Just like I did up there, I'm just choosing this spot right here to be my first one. And I go, okay, let me use a different brush this time. No other reason. Well, kind of, there is a reason. The reason would be that black and white is very unforgiving because it is a strong contrast in color. And just so you can see me do it with two different brushes so that you can tell that it really, you don't have to use an angle brush. I just want you to see that. Okay, so when you put black over the white, it's a little sheer. You can see through it a little bit. So I try to kind of hide my brush marks. I kind of tap it out like that. Can y'all see me? Kind of tapping, tap, 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 tap. So the paint will kind of put enough paint in there that'll kind of self-level itself, kind of lay itself down. So it's not just all completely spread out with the brush. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, I tap so that I can kind of lay more paint down in there than if I were brush stroking. 
Okay, let me tell y'all how challenging this is for me because when I do detail, anyone that knows me, they know I don't talk. Do y'all know that I used to be an ICU nurse? I was a pediatric intensive care nurse. Not a, not a baby NICU nurse, but a pediatric intensive care nurse for um, almost 10 years. And um, when I was really serious at work, I didn't talk there either. And it kind of, it, in the painting world, um, have you ever thought of using copy markers instead of paint? Okay, I have. I've done that a few times on some lettering. Um, I don't know, it just wasn't as satisfying to me. I, okay, but I think that's a great tip, Carolyn, I do. I think it's a great tip uh, for people who aren't as handy with the paintbrush maybe. And so if it's a little more challenging, maybe you want to start off doing copy markers. Like, do you mean copy markers or do you mean like a Sharpie or something like that? Also, Sharpie markers don't go over chalk type paint very well without getting clogged up. Like they, they take that chalk type paint into their little spongy tip. I've also noticed that. So I'm not sure what, oh, not copy markers, Copic or Copic. I don't even know what that is. I am so sorry. Tell us more about it though, because I'm open to it. I'm open to it. And I'm sure there's a lot of people on here that will be open to it. So, um, right now though, I'm using a tiny brush. I'm just so comfortable with a brush and there's just something so fulfilling to me about it that I, you know, I'm old school and I just prefer to do it this way. But I think detailing with a marker is not a, it's not, you know, like against the law or anything. <laughs> um, how's that so far? I think the second row might be a little bit bigger. Ah, oh, shoot. See, I went too far. I started talking. So I'll have to kind of touch that up with some. Sometimes I'll just make the square bigger and say, ah, oh, whatever. I'll just make the square bigger. But, um, Markers for artists, not regular markers, a million colors available, fine and felt tip. Okay, thanks for putting that in the feed because you know I'm gonna check that out and I will give you credit, Carolyn, when I try them and fall in love with them. Let's say that I fall in love with them <laughs> and maybe my checkerboard pattern will take a whole different look on. So anyway, I think, are we good here? Are we good if I stop here? How's that looking so far? So that's how I do it. I'm going to even do it underneath here, you guys. I'm going to go up here to the edge, and I'm going under here. I'm not going to do these on the edge with y'all because I have to get my whole face up in there, and all you would see is the back of my head. So um, do you use chalk paint every time? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm brand ambassadors for them, so um, I'm supplied with the paint. Um, sometimes, if there's not a color that's just right uh, to do small detail work like this, I will use acrylic paints, just like the little acrylic paints that you can get, Americana, folk art, stuff like that um, from Hobby Lobby. I'll use those. Um, if a customer comes to me and absolutely insists on latex paint, I, I don't refuse it. I will do it. I just don't, I don't prefer it because I know it doesn't hold up as well in the long run, but Anyway, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. I think it's going to look really good. Fat thumb hit the face. Oh, <laughs> thought you were rolling your eyes. So anyway, guys, um, thanks so much. And um, I think it's going to look really good. And this will be a fun piece to follow over the next, uh, next week or so as I work on it. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you. Uh, make sure that you like and share this, please. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram and even Pinterest. Pinterest also, okay? Um, I love all of y'all. Thanks so much. And I appreciate y'all pushing me to do lives for things like this because I never would have dreamed anyone would want to watch me do this. So I'll be doing a live, I think, on Friday going to Greyhound Shipping. I had some people want to see the Greyhound Shipping process. And that should be on Friday morning. So um, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.